Hey what's going on guys, today in this tutorial I'll show you how you can make a testimonial carousel by using the Elementor Pro Page Builder. Today we'll create these testimonial carousels where you can show your client's feedback in this nice slide view. And for this carousel, if we drag over here, we can also change the slides or we can also click on these left or right icons. And for this one, we can also navigate through by clicking on these dots. And here I also created another one with this purple background. So here all of these I have been created by using the testimonial carousel widget. So let's see how can we do that. Here first of all search for the testimonial carousel widget. And here to use this testimonial carousel you need the pro version of Elementor. So if you didn't already have Elementor Pro you can get this from my link on the description. So right now let's drag this right here okay this is our testimonial carousel and from the left side here you can edit all of this content inside these slides so let's edit our first slide I want to change this content so let's edit this and from here you can change the image of your client so let's upload an image and you can also change this name and this title from here so let's put my client's name here and here inside this title field I want to put his company name. Okay our first slide is done and here if you want you can also add new item by clicking on here or you can also delete it by clicking on this close icon or if you want you can also duplicate an existing slide. So right now let's quickly fill all of the content for all of these items okay after that from here you can select your skin so if we select the bubble so now you can see this text right here is wrapped inside this box and with this little icon at the bottom and if you want you can also change this layout if we select the image is stacked we can see the image is on another line or image above image left okay but let's make this to default to image inline and I also don't want this bubble. After that from here this alignment option you can choose the alignment to left or right. And here if we select the slides per view to 2. Here we can see the 2 slides per view. And we can also change the slide to scroll so if we set it also to 2. And now if we navigate through these dots, right now we can see this slider is sliding by two items at a time. But let's make this to default. And after that from here you can set the width for the slider. By setting the width you can also adjust the distance between this arrow and this inner slider. And then if we go to this additional option, from here you can also turn off these arrows. And from pagination, you can select multiple type of pagination like the fraction. Okay, this time you can see the numbers here. Or you can select from here the progress. Okay, I don't like any of this, so let's make it to none. And here you can also change the transition duration for changing the slides. So it's right now 500 millisecond and then here are some additional options like autoplay, autoplay speed, infinite loop, pause on hover, pause on interaction. You can play around all of this and after that let's go to the style tab and from here we can customize the design for this testimonial. You can set the background color for each of these items. So if we set a background color. We can also change the gap between these items from here. And then if we want some border for these items, we can make this from here. So let's give a one pixel border. And we can also set some border radius. We can also change the inner padding for each items from here. Let's make a 50 pixel padding. But here on the bottom, I want to make it to 40. Okay. 
but here I don't like this background color so let's make it to another color and let's also change the background color okay then let's go to this content section and here we can change the gap between this text and this bottom section so let's make the gap to 38 pixel and I also want to change the font for this text so let's go to here the typography make the font to poppins let's change the font size to 16 pixel and also adjust the line height and here I don't want this italic font style so let's make the font style to normal and here for these names and these company names I also want to make the poppins font so let's make it from here then let's go to this image section and from here you can change the size for this image so let's make it to 70 pixel and from here you can also change the gap between this text and this image and if you want you can also set the border for this image or reduce the border radius from here okay and then let's go to this navigation section and I want to change the navigation color so let's make it a more darker color okay right now let's save this and if we go to our preview here we can see our testimonial carousel which looks pretty good but here I want to show you one another thing if we right click on this image and open this in a new tab here we can see this image size is 500 by 500 so here we don't need to load this big image for this kind of a small thumbnail so if we go to edit our page and go to content and on this additional option you can see this image size option and from here instead of full size I want to load the thumbnail size which is 150 by 150 so right now if we view this image you can see this image is now on a smaller size so our site is now not unnecessarily load a bigger size of image so after that here I also added a new carousel and for this carousel here I set the slides per view to 1 so we can see only one slides here and here I turn off these arrows and only shows the dots so you can navigate through these dots here and here if we go to this last one for this I have set it its skin to bubble and also give a purple background color for this so if we go to style and from here for this bubble we set this background color and here on the right side you can see this quotation icon this is basically not the part of this testimonial carousel widget here I put an heading widget and for its content I set the quotation mark and also set a huge font size which is 250 pixel and from advance I also set its position to the absolute and also set its horizontal and vertical position so let's save this so here all of these testimonials looks pretty good and here if you want you can also get this testimonial template on my website I have also give its link on my description you can get it from here so that's how you can create a testimonial slider in Elementor if you have a business or a portfolio website I obviously recommend you to include this type of testimonial on your site because it represents the social proof of your customers which will help you to get more trust and increase your conversion. So if this video helps you then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button to inspire me to make more tutorials. Thank you for today, I'll see you later.